Hi there guys, my name is Taylor and I'm from NebianTutorials.com and in this video I'll be showing you guys the difference between the double equal sign and the dot equals function when comparing strings. Okay, let's begin. I have two uh, strings up here declared. Um, name is equal to Taylor and name2 is equal to Taylor because it actually grabs its value from name. It says, okay, my value is going to be equal to a string and it's going to get its value from Taylor. Alright, fantastic. So both are equal to Taylor in short. Again. Alright, and then we have our first statement here. If name, again, value is Taylor, is equal to name2 and its value is Taylor. So I mean, both of these should be equal, right? That's what I thought up until an hour ago. Turns out, they are not equal. It says that they're false. The string values are indeed Taylor and Taylor but it turns out that the double equal sign doesn't actually compare values at all. It doesn't look for values. It says, okay, what's inside the parameters? Taylor. Okay, what's inside the parameters here? New string name? That doesn't sound like Taylor. It takes a very human approach. It says, does that look like that? No? Well, then guess what? They're false. That's what the e double equal sign says. It's very, it's very simple. It doesn't use any logic. It doesn't search for a value. It just says, does that look like that? Does this look like this? No? Well, then guess what? They're not equal. That's how that one works. It's great for comparing integers or anything else, but you shouldn't use it to compare strings. The dot equals sign is the preferred and correct method of comparing strings. If name, value of Taylor, dot equals name to value of Taylor, then it says dot equals is true. Check it out. Dot equals is true. Now you can use the double equal sign to compare strings that all have direct inputs that you manually declare or something like that. See? Like the both of those are equal to Taylor, obviously. I hit run. Dot e double equals is true. Dot equals is true. The string values are Taylor and Taylor. Now, both of them are case sensitive. If I were to capitalize this O and this R, whereas the first one isn't, they will both return false. Okay, now that's basically it. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments um, or leave them on my site at nepiestutorials.com. Thanks for watching.